Welcome back to our channel, folks. Today we're delving into a fascinating lesser-known group from the Bible, the Rishabites. As we turn the pages of history, we encounter this intriguing group in the Old Testament, more specifically, in the book of Jeremiah. The Rishabites were a nomadic group, believed to be descendants of Jonadab, son of Rechab. Their lineage may not be as widely recognized as others in the Bible, but their story holds a unique charm, a charm that is rooted in their perpetual faith and obedience. Their way of life was quite distinct. They chose to live in tents, staying away from the comforts of houses. They were travelers at heart, moving from one place to another, never settling down in one city. This was not a mere lifestyle choice, but a testament to their unwavering commitment to the teachings of their ancestors and the commands of God. The Reshabites were also known for their abstinence from wine. They chose to honor the commands of their forefathers rather than partake in the pleasures of the vine. This abstention was not just about wine, but extended to other aspects of their life too. They refrained from cultivating crops, choosing instead to lead a simple unadorned life. Their story takes an interesting turn when they encounter the prophet Jeremiah. This encounter puts their commitment to their principles to the test. But how they react, how they uphold their principles in the face of temptation, is a tale that continues to inspire us. As we delve deeper into the lives of the Reshabites, we uncover lessons in commitment to principles, respect for ancestral wisdom, and unwavering faith. Their story, although lesser known, is a treasure trove of inspiration and learning. Their story is a remarkable one, rooted in faith and obedience, and their legacy continues to inspire us today. The Reshabites were known for their unique lifestyle, one that set them apart from the society of their time. They were not just another tribe in the ancient world, but a group of individuals with a distinct way of life that was both intriguing and inspiring. Imagine a community that chose to live in tents rather than houses, a community that preferred the vast open landscapes to the hustle and bustle of city life. That was the Resha Beats for you. Their nomadic existence was not a result of circumstance, but a conscious choice rooted in their faith and the teachings of their ancestors. But their uniqueness did not stop there. In a world where wine was a common part of daily meals and celebrations, the Risha Beats chose to abstain from it. They did not partake in the joy of wine drinking, adhering strictly to the command given by their forefather, Jonadab. This commitment to abstention was not merely a personal preference, but a symbol of their obedience to their ancestral laws. The Reshabites also refrained from cultivating crops. They did not till the land or sow seeds. Instead, they lived off what the land naturally provided, moving from place to place as their needs dictated. This lifestyle was not born out of a disdain for farming, but was a testament to their commitment to simplicity and their trust in God's providence. Perhaps the most striking aspect of the Rishabit lifestyle was their deliberate avoidance of settling in cities. They preferred the freedom and simplicity of their nomadic existence to the complexities of city life. This choice was a reflection of their desire to live in harmony with nature, free from the distractions and temptities of urban society. The Reshabites were not just surviving, they were living their truth, guided by their faith and principles. Their lifestyle was not an easy one, but it was a choice they made willingly, a choice that demonstrated their unwavering commitment to their beliefs. Their nomadic way of life and commitment to simplicity was a testament to their dedication to God's commandments and their ancestors' teachings. The Reshabites were indeed a remarkable people and their story continues to inspire us, reminding us of the importance of staying true to our beliefs and principles, irrespective of societal norms or pressures. One of the most significant moments in the Rishabites' history was their encounter with the prophet Jeremiah. This encounter, detailed in the book of Jeremiah, is a testament to the unwavering commitment of the Rishabites to their principles and their faith. Jeremiah, a prophet chosen by God, was tasked with testing the Reshabites' faith. He invited them to the temple and offered them wine to drink. Now this was a pivotal moment. The Reshabites had long upheld the command of their forefather Jonadab, the son of Rechab, to not drink wine. 
This was a principle they had adhered to for centuries, a cornerstone of their way of life. Imagine the predicament they found themselves in. Here they were, in the house of God, with a prophet offering them wine. It would have been easy to view this as a divine sign, an invitation to break their long-held vow. And yet, the Reshabites stood firm. They refused the wine, not out of disrespect to Jeremiah or God, but out of respect for the commands of their forefathers. This moment is truly awe-inspiring. The Reshabites didn't waver, they didn't compromise. They held on to their principles even when faced with a seemingly divine test. Their commitment was not just to a lifestyle but to a faith, a trust in the teachings of their ancestors. And what was the result of this test? The Reshabites passed with flying colors. God, through Jeremiah, commended their faithfulness. He held them up as an example to the people of Judah, showcasing their unwavering obedience and commitment. This encounter between the Reshabites and Jeremiah teaches us about the power of steadfastness and the importance of commitment to principles. It shows us that even when faced with challenging circumstances, it's imperative to stay true to our beliefs and principles. In the face of a divine test, the Reshabites chose not to compromise but to hold on to their values. They refused the wine, stating that it was against their forefathers' command. Their story is a powerful reminder of the importance of commitment to principles, respect for ancestral wisdom, and unwavering faith. The first lesson we can draw from the Reshabites' lives is the importance of commitment to principles. The Reshabites, descendants of Jonadab, demonstrated an unwavering dedication to their beliefs and values, passed down through generations. This commitment was not a mere lip service, it was a way of life, a code of conduct that defined their existence. A striking example of this dedication is their refusal to drink wine, a commandment given by their forefathers and upheld by each subsequent generation. This wasn't a simple act of abstinence, it was a testament to their steadfast belief in their principles. Even when the prophet Jeremiah under God's instructions offered them wine, they stood firm, choosing to honor their commitment over temporary temptation. This level of dedication is indeed inspiring. It's a reminder that we should stand firm in our values and principles, even when faced with temptation or societal pressures. The Rishabites' obedience to their forefathers' commands was exceptional. This dedication wasn't born out of compulsion or fear, but rather, it was a profound respect for their ancestors and the wisdom they imparted. They held their forefathers' teachings close to their hearts, passing them down faithfully from generation to generation. Their commitment to these ancestral directives wasn't a simple act of obedience. It was an embodiment of their identity, a reflection of their faith, and a demonstration of their love for God and their forefathers. The Reshabites understood that their ancestors' wisdom was more than just instructions for a specific way of life. It was a legacy, a heritage, a treasure that was to be carefully preserved and honored. Their story provides us with a powerful reminder of the importance of tradition and heritage in our own lives. In a world constantly chasing after the new and the novel, the Reshabites challenge us to pause and look back. They invite us to recognize the value of the wisdom passed down from those who came before us, to acknowledge the sacrifices they made, and to appreciate the lessons they learned. They urge us to respect our own heritage, to honor the wisdom of our ancestors, and to remain committed to the principles and values they held dear. By doing so, we not only pay homage to their memory, but also allow their wisdom to guide us, their experiences to teach us, and their legacy to inspire us. The Rashabites' respect for their ancestors wasn't a sign of backwardness or an inability to adapt. Instead, it was a strength, a source of guidance, and a testament to their faith. They understood that their forefathers' wisdom wasn't outdated or irrelevant. It was timeless, insightful, and deeply relevant, providing them with a roadmap for their lives. This obedience to their ancestors is a testament to the importance of tradition and heritage in our lives. It's an invitation for us to respect and honor our own heritage, to appreciate the wisdom of our ancestors, and to carry their legacy forward with pride and reverence. Lesson number two, respect for ancestral wisdom. 
The Resha Beats story is a powerful testament to the importance of ancestral wisdom. This nomadic group, living in an era vastly different from ours, honored the teachings of their forefathers, drawing strength and guidance from their wisdom. They understood something that sometimes escapes us in our modern, fast-paced lives. The value of the wisdom of those who came before us. Our ancestors' experiences, their trials, triumphs, and teachings, hold valuable lessons for us. They provide us with a roadmap, a compass to navigate our own lives. Just like the Resha Beats, when we respect and learn from the wisdom of our forefathers, we tap into a wealth of knowledge and insight. We become part of a continuum, a living link in a chain of wisdom that stretches back through the ages. Their story inspires us to value the wisdom of our elders and learn from their teachings, realizing that our heritage can guide us on our life's path.